Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I wanted to do a quick video for you today about a new carving knife I've just picked up. Now this is the Mora Basic um, and it's a really nice little carving knife and more importantly it's a really really good budget option. Um, now whether you're just starting out in carving or like me you want something as a bit of a spare and a backup and that kind of thing, um, I think these are a really really good option. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'll move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you this in a little bit more detail. Right then guys, so this is the Mora Basic. It comes in a pretty standard ABS plastic sheath and essentially it is almost identical to the longer bladed Mora 106 that usually comes with a wooden handle um, or the Mora 120. Um, it's again got an ABS molded plastic handle and actually it is pretty comfortable. Um, I really, really like this design. You know, it is a little bit cheap and cheerful. It's no frills, um, but for this kind of knife, I'm really not bothered by that. Um, the blade itself is 80 millimeters long. It's two millimeters thick and 14 millimeters deep, um, or at, at its deepest part at least. Um, and it's made of stainless steel. Now I would have preferred carbon um, and you can get this in a carbon version. Um, I just couldn't find one online at the time. Um, and you know, it, it, it swings and roundabouts, you know, stainless steel retains its edge for longer, but it's more difficult to sharpen once it does start to dull. Um, carbon, much, much easier to maintain. Uh, but again, it does dull slightly quicker. Um, now, how does this knife perform? I mean, you know, as I'm sure you would expect, this cuts exactly the same way as the Mora 120 and the 106, which are kind of like you know my favourite little carving knives. I've got a little bit of green birch here, just a little off cut from a project I was doing, and you know, let me get a bit closer for you. You know, this cuts with as much fine detail, and I'll just get that a little bit closer to the camera there. You know, that's a really, really fine shaving. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use this knife for bushcrafting, but you know, you could make feather sticks with this all day long if you wanted to. And then if you want to put a bit of, uh, let me find a, there's a better angle. If you want to put a bit of pressure on, you know, you can take off much, much bigger cuts. Um, and you know, this is a small knife. This is a detail carving knife, and that's what it excels at. Um, you could get away with this as maybe a camp knife if you didn't want to um, you know, go out and buy something specific for that task. And then you've also got a really good little detail carving knife with you as well. Um, you know, and for its main job, so I've got a, a mostly finished spoon here. Um, and let me move a bit closer again. So as with all knives, you know, especially when you're working on something like a spoon, it depends on the way the grain is running. But you know, for finishing cuts, you know, this has got a really, really nice sharp Scandi blade on it. You know, you can start refining down some of your tool marks. Um, and this is sharp out of the box. I've done no work on this. I haven't stropped it. I haven't put it on a stone. And you know, it really does just sort of cut the way you want it to. If I just move this round, you know, it's taking really, really fine cuts around the contours of this spoon, um, go right down to the tip. Where are we? There you are on camera. And you know, you can take some really, really fine, tiny cuts like so. Um, so really, what, I, what the main thing I wanted to say about this, you know, this knife cost me 11 pounds online. Um, that's the cheapest I've been able to find it, though I'm sure there are places that are either doing deals or maybe where they've got, you know, walking into a shop where they don't have the overheads of sort of sending it out on post and packaging. I suspect you could probably get it even cheaper than that. But comparing that to the 106 and the 120, uh, which are roughly about £20 online now, and I appreciate £10 is not a huge amount of money to most people, but it is to some people, and especially if you're thinking about getting into carving, you know, you kind of you know, spoon carving and, and, and that kind of thing in general is becoming very popular at the moment. Um, and you know, there's a lot of people that want to give this a try, but they don't want to fork out, 
you know, lots of money for expensive knives and expensive tools that they're not sure if they're going to carry on using. And I think this is a really, really nice budget option. Um, one of the things I'm considering with this, um, not partic this particular knife, because I actually quite like this handle, it's quite comfortable, but I may pick up another one, um, cut off the handle, and actually try rehandling it myself just to see how easy that is to do and whether I can make something a bit custom to sort of particularly suit my hand. I've never had a problem with Mora knife handles, this one included. They're all very comfortable, they fit very nicely. You've got a tiny little bit of a uh, chole down here, not as, not as dramatic as I would have liked. Um, but then again, you know, if you look at the other Mora's, you know, sort of more barrel shaped um, handles, they don't have that at all. So at least it's a nod in the right direction. You know, the handle itself is quite grippy. Um, it has got a, hopefully you can see, it's got like a stippled finish on there. Um, and you know, I think if you had very, very wet hands, you know, I probably wouldn't want to be using a carving knife like this anyway. Uh, but you know, a little bit of moisture, a little bit of perspiration on your hands, and it's going to help with that grip. Um, so that was it, guys. Let me just cut back to uh, my other camera angle, and we'll wrap this up. Right then guys, so as I say, that was just meant to be a quick introduction to the Mora Basic carving knife. Very, very similar to the Mora 106 and the 120. Cuts in exactly the same way. Nice little handle on there. Some people won't like it, you know, because it's sort of plasticky. Um, I don't mind personally, but you know, others will prefer a wooden handle. And if that's the case, you can spend the extra 10 pounds and buy the wooden handle version. Um, Maybe, as I say, I might get another one and just sort of knock the handle off and try to uh, put a, my own version on there. I've got, uh, where are they? There we go. I've got some sort of random handle scale material I've just had lying around for a while. So maybe I'll utilise that. You know, as I say, it cuts really, really well. You can get some really, really fine detail shaving cuts on there. You can get some good power cuts on there as well, at least, at least in comparison for a small knife. Um, and you know, they cost roughly about £10. I mean, you cannot go wrong with them. Um, you know, I'm not affiliated in any way, but I'm, I've always been a big advocate of Mora. They're one of my favourite carving knives. It's got a pound for pound. I mean, you really can't get better for your money if you're looking for a knife that simply works. You can go out and spend a lot of money on custom knives, and I, I own several myself, as you know, and they are really nice bits of kit. But you know, you really, really cannot go wrong with Mora, and I, mean, I was quite surprised. The, these uh, basic, the basic range, if you like, has been around for quite a while, from what I gather, and I have no idea how I missed them. I wasn't aware of them until recently, which is why I've only recently bought this, um, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So I hope it was useful, guys. Really good, um, you know, budget option tool for either if you're thinking about just starting getting into spoon carving. Um, or, or carving in general, should I say. Um, or if you're like me, you know, you've been carving a while and you just want something that's a little bit different, maybe as a backup or a spare, that kind of thing. Um, we'll see how the stainless steel holds up. It's not a knife material that I use very often. I do prefer carbon. That was just what this what was available at the time when I ordered this. Um, but you know, so far it's doing well. I might need to give it a strop in the next day or two, but time will tell. Um, so that's it for today guys, hope it was useful, comments and questions in the box below, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers guys.